today I will interview the band Dream Make Waves and I'm really excited what they will tell me. Concerts. Um, the band was formed a couple of years before I joined, mm -hmm. and so I was like a fan at the front of the stage. And I, um, through pure attrition and pure dedication and persistence, I got to know them uh, against their will. I think. <laughs> really? That is your story. <laughs> yeah, actually, when when the vacancy for a guitarist came up, we didn't really want Otto to be in the band because we didn't want to lose our number one fan. But he was just too good on guitar that you know oh. there was just no way that we could really overlook him as a choice. So thankfully we have found other fans. There's not been a number one fan that's been as great as he has since then, but at least we've got a guitarist. That was, that was disarmingly charming, Alex. I don't really know what to say to that. <laughs> I can imagine you mention that. It sounds quite like a cool story. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, I was really excited at the time. It's a long time ago now. We've done hundreds of shows since then, so it seems like ancient history, but at the time I was absolutely stoked beyond words. I got this email from the guys saying that an opportunity had, had come up to join, mm -hmm. and they, uh, they actually asked me to audition, which I thought was, was fantastic. <laughs> you have a really special kind of music, so it's something totally different between instrumental, rock, it's sometimes really, really fast, I've been listening to it yeah. before, and then suddenly it makes like a break, and it goes really soft. And That's exactly how we describe it to people when they ask me, because like there's a lot of genre names that go around, like post-rock and stuff like that, which which is so amorphous and so like wide and broad that it's difficult to really pin the music down. Mm -hmm. So I think actually describing it like that really cuts to the heart of what we're doing. It's loud and then it's quiet, and we try to inject some emotion along the way. It's all about the emotions, really. You know, I yeah. we're... We want to make you feel everything, if, if, if we can, you know, uh, there's joy and there's sadness and there's excitement and there's anger and we want to try and get that all in our music without words and I think that's why we go all the way from really fast to slow to really loud to really soft so that it feels like an actual human being who feels all of these different yeah, but it's, it's amazing. It's sometimes like really aggressive, then it gets really soft, like a little bit sad, then it gets so happy with like 
just different sounds of. That's like a day on tour for us, described. <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of. Was that the idea awesome. also? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You know, we didn't realize when we were writing the record, but I think what you just said summarizes both the album and a day touring the album. <laughs> we're not the most emotionally stable people. <laughs> I hear. You. So then we also have your new album. Would you like to say something? Yeah. It's well, Me makes waves is also a really interesting name. How it gets to this name? Uh, it came from someone's psychology textbook. Um, when we started the band, our other guitarist, Kid, had already picked up the name, mm -hmm. working with someone else, and that band hadn't um, come together, but we all thought the name Sleep Makes Waves was good, it felt right at the time, and now we're stuck with it. Yeah, it's a nice name, and also everyone can think something different. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, you think you're dreaming, and it makes a wave out of your head, that the music comes mm -hmm. with your different feelings also. Yes, exactly. So, and where are the other guys at the moment? Uh, the other guys are probably eating snacks and drinking beers and, and uh, having a smoke. Break. And having a smoke, yeah. The other two guys are, um, are very excited about the low cigarette prices here in Europe. Oh. So, uh, yeah. they're, they're taking good advantage of destroying their bodies with that uh, at, at a great pace. <laughs> but you don't get the beer you wanted to have, huh? No, today on the uh, other band, 65 Days of Statics, Rider. Uh, well, look, before I say anything else, let me say we're very grateful to be on the tour with them. They're fantastic and very inspirational. However, today it appears they have our favourite Australian beer, Cooper's Green, on their, uh, they've only got six bottles of it, I found out, but uh, Alex and I are quite, what would be the word, we're, we're, we're heartbroken, is that I'd it? say furious. Furious? Yeah. Because they're not furious. Yeah. They're not going to share the beers, unfortunately. Okay, uh, so they're, they're over through the wall, and we can't access them. But yeah. maybe then they're more jet-lagged. Are you jet-lagged? No, it, it, it just... Oh, you just it, arrived, arrived. Days ago. It, it means war, this thing with the beer, because to answer your question, we've been on tour with these guys for about 25 shows now. Yeah, we've been here for quite a while. We've been here for almost a month. How long is 25? 25 shows. shows. Well, we've been in Europe for about 30 days, yeah. more, wow. at least. Uh, so no more jet lag, but what we have adjusted to is the sort of uh, sleep schedule and timeline of being mm. on a bus, which yeah. is quite nocturnal. So we go to bed at like 3 or 4 a.m. after um, really, really silly drunken poker in which we gamble what little money we have. Uh, we go to bed and we wake up full of regrets at about 12 or 1 p.m. That's me at least. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's a sort of nocturnal cycle now which we've kind of gotten used to. And you find yourself in a new city that you've never been to before and you carry the amps into that venue and you just try and wait until showtime and then you do it all again. Do you see some something of the city, some sightseeing you take some time for it? Yeah, sometimes we've, we've had that chance, you know, um, and when you can do that we always try and take the opportunity, but um, it's being a touring musician is not like being a tourist, it's more like being in the military. In that there's like a, in that there's a schedule you just have to follow and if you don't make it somewhere on time there's going to be hell to pay so we we don't look at it like a holiday you know where we're, we're yeah, here sure. to play we're here to play music and uh while we'd love to see more of the sites around europe and there are many amazing things we've missed out on we just simply don't have a chance to look yeah that's true it's so green huh yeah in the opposite of australia i thought it's so green when i came back yeah like oh, amazing absolutely. everything in, in spring is wonderful yeah when you fly over and you and you you're about to land, it, it's, you're, you're struck by how, how green it is compared to Australia, especially at the moment, it's summer there and very hot, mm, sure. and pretty fiery actually, but uh, it, it's, it's great to be able to even take a small amount of time to explore the cities that we've been able to, to see uh, through Eastern Europe, through Western Europe, and, the, and, and because we're doing it in such a, a short time frame, you can really appreciate the differences between each of the cities. It's like a slideshow in which you're just given a quick glimpse of each one, and so you notice the changes as it goes past, which is which is really cool and quite unique. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What is your best trick when you're like having a hangover or feeling yeah. really really tired, getting up on the next day and making your your? I write music. Yeah. Well, I have yeah. a. I have so a, you are the most of the music writer. You're the text, not texter, but. I would, I would say, yeah, I think Alex's great advantage is that he is um, incredibly uh, proficient at using um, laptop sort of tools to create what are actually quite expansive and, and intricate soundscapes. So it's not like he's just doing electronic music, he's programming drums and guitars and he's far better than any of us at that and so he's able to sort of, when he's feeling a bit hungover or worse for wear, get his headphones in and disappear into that world. And he's actually come up with a lot of good stuff, even in the last 30 days, I think. <laughs> so you also have to get hangovers. To make so well, and sometimes you have to feel a bit angry and miserable to really get the, the good stuff going. And it's great, you know, with all the technology today, I, I have a, a laptop and a little box 
and that's all I need. Your world. Yeah, that's Your all I way. need. Just a little bit of um, bit of space, and so we want to try and release a new album next year. So trying to use. Uh, as much hangover time as possible in order to... <laughs> and we've had a lot this year. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think are his biggest talents? Um, growing moustaches. <laughs> oh yeah, true, you shaved your moustache before you had proper... Yeah, yeah, so in Australia I'm usually more of a kind of stubbly beard guy, but due to popular demand on this tour from the other three guys in the band, I've, I've taken this sort of journey. Uh, you know, th this is happening. I, I'm not sure if it's a little bit European, apparently. It's, it's, it's a Zurich style. It's Zurich style. Me. So, uh, right now, <laughs> I'm in the best spot and I should really be exploring the city and taking the, the, you know, the best advantage of this because I'm going to Italy tomorrow, and it's probably not oh. going to be in style at all. Uh, I don't know. I think you'll, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> so growing, growing moustaches, being cheerful, and extra having burden. hangovers and writing texts. Yeah, and he's he's generally much better at being cheerful through a hangover than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Then I wish you a really, really good time now. Oh, Pop you. your rocket. Oh, thank Listen you. Listen to the new album. There it is. There it is. Sleep makes waves. Something really new, really special, have a look in it. Thank you very much for oh, your time. Thank you very much.